अजमत तो जरा देखो पंज तन के घराने की अजमत तो जरा देखो सर मेज पे रख कर भी कुरान सुनाते हैं सर मेज पे है फिर भी कुरान सुनाते हैं महबूब की महफिल को सजाते हैं आते हैं वही जिनको सरकार बुलाते हैं सरकार बुलाते सुबहान अल्लाह माशा अभी आप खुर्शीद खान साहब से नाते मकबूल इस्तेमाल फरमा रहे थे मैं रिक्वेस्ट करना चाहूँगा सैदना करीम सल्लम के लिए बर्मिंगम से और मानचेस्टर से जो भी साथी हैं लीड करेंगे और हमारे लोकल साथी प्लीज तशरीफ़ लाएँ सारे साथी आके इसमें शामिल हो जाएँ बसीर भाई और साथी अपने सारे तशरीफ़ लें बगैर नाम कहने के प्लीज़ आ जाएँ नमान भाई साजद भाई सारे प्लीज़ आ जाएँ सैदना करीम सल्लम के लिए लीड करेंगे हमारे मेहमान हजरा और हमारे अपने साथी भी सारे शामिल होंगे बिस्मिल्लाह। सैयद 
سیدنا جواد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم سیدنا کریم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم سیدنا آمون صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم سیدنا رحیم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم آج کھلا ہے مہانا سرکار کے لکھانا سرکار کے میں کش آگئے جان پہ جان پہ لانے کو جان پہ جان پہ لانے کو سیدنا نوادم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم سیدنا کریم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم سیدنا رعوف صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم سیدنا رحیم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم صلی اللہ صلی اللہ صلی اللہ ساتھیوں سے سیدنا کریم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم اور پھر خلیل بھائی سے ایک اور ناسمت فرمائی خلیل بھائی سے ایک دفعہ ہم اور بھی ریکویسٹ کریں گے سپیشل نات جو اس محفل کے حوالے سے خصوصاً انہوں نے دیار کی ہے تو اب میں ریکویسٹ کروں گا ہمارے لندن سے آئے ہوئے مہمان بھائی محمد شفیق صاحب سے کہ وہ تشریف لائن سٹیج پر اور فضائل ذکر پر ان کا پیان ہے انگلیش میں فضائل ذکر بیادت کل معلوم اللہ کا استغفر اللہ اللہ زی لا الہ الا و الحی القیوم عطوب اللہ الحی یا قیوم السلام علیکم آدھے رسپیکٹی برادرز خلیقز سرکار ابو نیس محمد برکت علی قدس العزیز سیز او ما کمپینینز دو یو نوٹ نو دت اللہ ہز کمانڈیت اس تو دو دا ذکر او ہم ان اپارٹ فرم ہم have no hope in anything or anyone. Without doubt, Allah alone is the fulfiller of all the needs. All the needs of all the universe. And indeed, our Lord is the most gracious and the most merciful. There are many eyes of the Quran where Allah the Almighty instructs his creation to do the zikr of him. In Surah Al-Azab, he says, Allah the Almighty says, O ye who believe, celebrate the praises of Allah the Almighty and do so often. It's a prerequisite. If you are a believer in Allah the Almighty, 
then it is incumbent upon you to remember Allah the Almighty and do it often. Question is, are we believers of Allah the Almighty? If we are Allah the Almighty's believers, then we have to do the zikr of Allah the Almighty. In Surah Toha, Hazrat Musa salam, and Harun salam, was commanded by Allah the Almighty, and be not faint in the remembrance of me, and slack not in keeping me in your remembrance. Don't be lazy. Don't get tired. Leaves, we say, we heard this many times. All creation of Allah, the Almighty does a zikr of him. Leaves, stones, lumps of clay, grain of sand, all creation, all creatures does a zikr of Allah, the Almighty. But only we are the one neglecting the zikr of Allah, the Almighty. We have been given a brain and we have been made distinguished between the different creatures. But they are doing the zikr of Allah the Almighty. In Surah Al Imran, Allah the Almighty says, Remember the command. It's very important to remember that word. Remember the command of your Lord to remember Him standing, sitting, reclining on your side at all times throughout your life in all circumstances. And then Allah the Almighty gives another command. There's many commands He gives. But He gives another command. And this command He gives, He says, send Durood and Salam on His beloved Muhammad Where is Allah? The Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. In Surah al azab He says, Allah the Almighty, the Creator says, the Sustainer says, Allah and His angels send blessings on the Prophet. Again, another prerequisite. O ye who believe, send blessings on him and salute him with respect. And Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu has narrated that reciting the Durood on the Holy Prophet وسلم, erases your sins in the same manner that water puts out fire. Very quickly. And in another hadith of Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he says, if you send Durood, and sal- durood on Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi once, Allah the Almighty rewards you with ten good deeds, removes ten bad deeds, and increases your status in the heaven tenfold. Whoever wants to, as we said earlier in Urdu, whoever wants to love Allah the Almighty has to love Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That's the prerequisite. <laughs> Babaji Hazur, Babaji Sarkar Abu Nis, Muhammad Barakat Ali Kutsuzi says, I do not know why people can't agree the type of zikr that we need to do, which is right, silently or voicefully. They're all right. They're all good. However you choose to do it, but do it. Zikr is for our benefit. It's not for Allah Almighty's benefit. It's for our benefit. And in Sahih Muslim, and briefly I will say this hadith, it says, when group of people occupy themselves, remembering Allah the Almighty, they are surrounded by angels, and they are showered with mercy and tranquility descends upon them. And Allah the Almighty mentions them to those who are close to Him. Subhanallah. Imagine the friends Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has kept. And we are going to be the sinners who will be mentioned to them. What kind of mention will Allah do of us? Subhanallah. In Abu Hadith of Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in Sahih Muslim and Bukhari, it says Abu Harir Radilan has narrated that Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam stated, angels have been appointed for the sole purpose of wandering around 
looking for sessions and gatherings of zikr upon the earth. And when they arrive at the zikr sessions, they join in. They are angels amongst you, pure, sinless. And they encircle them with their wings so as to cover them until they reach the heavens. And Allah asks them, where have you come from? And they reply, we have come from a group of your servants who are busy praising you, glorifying you, saying subhanallah, alhamdulillah, allahu akbar. And they pray to you and seek your protection. Though Allah the Almighty knows best, he says, what are they praying for? They say they are praying for paradise. And he says, what are they seeking protection from? They reply, they are seeking protection from the hellfire. Then Allah the Almighty says to the angels, bear witness, I have forgiven them. This is the barakah, the mercy of being in the gatherings of zikr, attending the gatherings of zikr. Grant them their request and save them from what they fear. Angel will say, there was one who just came to see, just to wonder, just to find out, was curious. And Allah the Almighty shall say, I have also forgiven him for those people of zikr in their presence. No hardship will, hardship will be afflicted to their companion. Sarkar Abu Anis Muhammad Barakat Ali Qudusul Aziz says, I advise my friends that in their homes they should arrange the gathering of remembrance of Allah the Almighty daily and regularly, just as in every household there is cooking every evening and meals are necessary, so too is the remembrance of Allah the Almighty. Baba Ji Huzur, Muhammad Barakat Ali Qudsul Aziz says, people ask me, for du'as, saying that in their house there is sickness, there is poverty, there is worry, there is grief. And the sole answer to all of their questions is this, increase the zikrs of Allah the Almighty in your houses. With the zikr of Allah the Almighty, your griefs, your sorrows, your worries will go away. Without doubt, zikr is a means of kindness and happiness and it is a cure, solution for worries and grief. Once you have gathered, started these gatherings and you do these zikrs with sincerity, keep that gathering going. Don't stop it. And in Surah Arad, it says, for without doubt, in the remembrance of Allah the Almighty, do hearts find satisfaction. So whatever griefs, worries you've got, pressures you've got, anxieties you've got, do the zikr of Allah the Almighty in your house and increase it. And inshallah you will see the benefit of it. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa said, One gathering of zikr compensates two million, two million bad gatherings. By doing zikr, it prevents us from backbiting, slandering, jealousy, lying and being prideful. Because you're more conscious about Allah the Almighty and it awakens the love of Allah the Almighty in your heart. We all say we love Allah the Almighty, but like we hear many times in the hadith that your Imam goes up and down. With the zikr of Allah the Almighty, the motivation, the fire that you need, the inspiration that you need is awakened in your heart. And then you remember your Lord again as we did when he said on the first time when he created us. Am I not your Lord? And we said, yes, you are indeed. It reminds us. And when you do love zikr like we did earlier, everything that hears your zikr becomes a witness for you on the Day of Judgment. What we have done today has become a witness for us on the Day of Judgment. And when you do voiceful zikr, you, the person who's doing the zikr gets swab, and the one who's listening also gets swab. Subhanallah. And the beauty of it, you don't even need to do vadu to do the zikr of Allah. In Surah Al-Baqarah, Allah the Almighty says, 
Then do you remember me? This is very important. This is Allah the Almighty remembering you. What worth are we? What worth are we? The Allah the Almighty, the Creator, the Sustainer, the Powerful, the Almighty is remembering us. How fortunate are we? How lucky are we? How blessed are we? The Allah the Almighty is saying this to us. Then do you remember me? I will remember you. If you remember me within yourself, I will remember you within myself. And if you remember me in a gathering, and I will remember you in a better gathering. And if you remember me, I will remember you. You remember me with reverence, and I will remember you with respect. And if you remember me with your du'as, and I will accept your du'as. Accept your du'as. You remember me with re repentance. And I'll remember you with forgiveness. Time is precious. Time is precious, do not waste it. This breath is precious, do not waste it. The wish of the dead of the grave is that they are given one more chance. Just one more chance to come back to this world so they could be busy in the remembrance of Allah the Almighty. Busy in the obedience of Allah the Almighty. Seeking the pleasure of Allah the Almighty. We are not here. We're not going to be living here forever. And nor are we going to return. We've got to make this time that we have valuable. This opportunity we have, take it. Because we don't know when it's our time next. Sarkar Abu Nis Muhammad Barakat Ali Qudus Aziz says, Become devoted to Allah the Almighty and the whole universe is yours. This is the promise of Allah the Almighty. Become devoted to Allah the Almighty and the blessing of Allah the Almighty will descend upon you. Become devoted to Allah the Almighty and the doors that will close will be open to you and veils will be lifted. Become devoted to Allah the Almighty and the zikr of Allah the Almighty shall flow in your veins. Become devoted to Allah the Almighty and contentment will be bestowed to you. Become devoted to Allah the Almighty and the bounties of Allah the Almighty will flow like rivers for you. You will be successful in the dunya and akhirah. May Allah the Almighty 